The first thing is that the printer seems to always forget what job it has to do, like whenever you need it the most. And the second thing is the file sizes are usually like too big or the image quality is just too low. Today, I'm gonna show you how to quickly export your portfolio. If you want a more in-depth or longer explanation on what we're doing here today, check out this link above or the one in the description down below. And actually, I know another way that you can make your portfolio more appealing to more people, but we don't have time to talk about that right now, so I'll go over that a little bit later. All right, enough chat. Let's start in three, two. All right, so I'm in InDesign with my portfolio open. I'm gonna go up to File, go down to Adobe PDF Presets, and then High Quality Print. I'm gonna name this Architecture Portfolio and click Save. Next, you wanna choose whether it's pages or spreads. Over on the left-hand side, it can get a little confusing because you have all these options, but lucky for us, the only two we really wanna look at is General and Compression. So let's go over to our Compression tab. Here you can see that it's gonna do a bicubic downsampling to 300 PPI for images above 450. Well, lucky for us, we're just gonna change all these numbers to 72. All right, and when you're done doing that, you're gonna click Export. After your portfolio is done exporting, let's open it with Adobe Acrobat. Check your image quality and also your file size and see if you like it. If your image quality was too low, go up to File, Adobe PDF Presets, and then High Quality Print. We're gonna name this one Architecture Portfolio and click Save. Overwrite the last one if you need to. Change it to either Pages or Spreads, depending on which one you set it up as, and then go to the Compression tab. Now, instead of doing 72 PPI, let's try 100. What we're doing is we're just gonna add 25 PPI to it each time. and then click export. Once again, if you don't like the image quality, just go back and add 25 PPI to that number until you like the image quality. Okay, here's that bonus tip I was gonna tell you about earlier. When you're about to export your portfolio, over under the viewing section, you can see view and a dropdown. Click that dropdown and set it to fit page. That way when they open your portfolio, it'll show the full page instead of them having to zoom out or in to see it. Ooh. So my name is Chris and here at All Arc, we offer an alternative perspective on pretty much everything architecture and design. If you found this video helpful in any way, please show the channel some love. Like the video if you like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content. So the video at the top there, that's actually a video I think you'd really like. And the one at the bottom, that's my $100,000 portfolio. It's not like it's worth $100,000, but over the past three years, that's how much it's earned me. The video also talks about how you can get your portfolio to do that for you too. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all. I'll catch you in the next one.